Welcome to space! <laughs> Hello dear viewer and welcome back to this Galaxy of Pen and Paper Let's Play on Lunar Nebula LLC Gaming with me, Jelenon. Today, we're facing down Lord Ginormous, hopefully. But first we're going to click a node to travel to that place or planet. We're going to try to catch up to the ship. Okay, so this is probably his ship. Why is he just standing there instead of jumping away from the system? Hmm. Ginormous is a really weird dude. Maybe he's waiting for you? Which probably means we need to level up or something. We can return to the nebula by boarding. Tanton has some more stuff, apparently. What about here? Greenhouse. Former ice planet. If that is in reference to greenhouse gases, I don't know what it is. There's a generic space station. Neo Tokyo. Like old Tokyo. Both more neon signs and gangsters. Oh, what was that? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, oops. An asteroid! Your regular run of the asteroid belt asteroid. Well, I feel like this is a bad idea, but we're just going to go check out Lord Ginova's ship. Dice power! Oh, this is apparently a bad idea. We have a D4, so 1 through 4. It's that tetrahedral shape, kind of like a pyramid. Plus attack power. Thankfully, we seem to have more attack power. Let's try it out then. We got a three. So basic attack. Okay, we dealt some good damage. Some more attacks using our action points. Q, and then we'll end our turn. Looks like we have 9% evasion. All right, so this die gives us a certain amount of action points. We currently have four, so it takes one action point to shoot the first time, two to shoot a second time, before our lasers overheat. There we go. Victory! We snatched it from the jaws of Ginormous. And we got a battery pack, yay! Okay. Ginormous's spaceship explodes in a fiery ball of death and destruction. Intercepting Ginormous's ships give you the experience needed to take on intercept missions. Yeah, wait a minute. What about Eliana? Did she die a horrible, fiery death? Oh, uh, no. She didn't. An escape pod launched before the explosion, landing on a nearby asteroid or on a nearby space station. Hmm, the space station is closer. Yuck. We need to check if Eliana's okay. Let's go. But first, bad ape. I realized I have some inventory stuff. We could give you a towel. So I think I will. That might be Mr. Kent's towel. Poor Mr. Kent. Any other gadgets we can give? No? Aha, this is for the spaceship. Hmm. Okay, how do I... No. Maybe I can use that during ship battles. What is this? This area of the ship is dominated by a huge door. However, no matter what you do, you cannot open it. A sealed door. I hope nothing's breeding in there. Oh, that'd be bad. Unless they're not triples. Okay, we can land on Ginoris' spaceship? What? Okay, let's let's land on it. Yoink. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine. Let's travel to the space station. To the space station. Okay. Authoritarian authority. You were conscripted into Nebula Command. Your mission? To resolve the Sand Raider crisis. Still? Hmm. You find Ginormous carrying his stuff out of the wrecked pod. There's a cop watching, too. Officer, arrest that muscular, sweaty man. Hey, Francesco, help me take care of these unacceptable losers. Hey, Eugene, this won't take two seconds. It's ginormous! Get it memorized already. What? He commands the cop, too. Har har! I've hired Francisco from Fake Cops Incorporated, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's incorporated. Precisely for situations like this. Okay. This may be difficult. 
All right, we've got this guy, this guy. Hmm. I didn't get to see if Francisco had a bunch of health. But we will use Virus on Ginormous. And then we'll focus our damage on this other dude. We'll use a charged attack on Francisco. Goodbye, Francisco. Aha, you wasted your turn. Whereas Ginormous probably won't. Oh, okay. They're protecting each other. Can I? Yep. Goodbye. Booyah. Francisco. So it looks like enemies will try to take cover behind each other, which is pretty cool. It's a good mechanic. Hmm. Boom. Meta mind triggered. Because we attacked a guy who is poisoned. Sweet. Unfortunately, okay. There we go. Now we can see if Meta Mind will deal a lot of damage or not. Or heal a lot of damage. Heal, please. 15. That's a pretty good amount. And if Francisco was still here, we would have attacked. Oh, well, that's a good attack. Well, Ginormous, prepare for battle. Power attack! Okay, GM Darth is just sitting there, hearing the bullets fly, and not phased at all. Okay, we don't have any SP left for Vivian. Or for Bad Ape, really. Hmm. Well, we may need some healing items. Yep. Okay, let's use distilled water on Vivian. Then we'll virus him. And hope that this works out. Right, virus heals her. Blah, what am I thinking? Okay, power attack. Hopefully this will work with the poison. It did not. Okay. Metamind only works on normal attacks. No, bad ape! Ah, uh, you need that XP too. Half of his HP may not be enough. However, we have a bunch of these. Not enough rat burgers. So, this is cheaper. Um, we've already got poison on him, so we'll just attack. But man, virus healed a ton. Okay, we'll attack normally. 18, yeah. So this was a pretty good combo for this first boss. Hmm. That's right, ginormous. You're still Eugene. Ooh, ginormous' right glove. Yep, it's singular. Just one single ginormous glove. Raises your damage by four and your crit chance by two. This is unacceptable service, Francisco. And I've got you marked down, punks. Ginormous jetpacks away from your reach and disappears. Let's get Aliena from the escape pod. Okay, you help her out of the wrecked escape pod. About time. It was pretty cramped in that pod. Okay. What's with the hat? <laughs> I don't know. Why help Ginormous? What's with the hat? Eh, we've been doing pretty good with Bad Ape so far. Because the big jerk promised me a very rare trinket in return, which I managed to snatch from him during all this mess. <laughs> Say, would you give me a ride home? Normally I just teleport myself, but I need rest to restore my powers. I suppose that's okay. We are free to come and go as we please now. Great, I live in Neo Tokyo, a city planet just a few light hours from here. Let's get going then. Aw, she didn't join our party. Hmm. Well, Bad Ape, anything to give you for just a one? Hmm. You could use more science, Ring. Hmm. No, not yet. Healing requires two. Okay. So, Bad Ape, we're going to save the points. Vivian, do you have more points? Yes, you do. We need that healing, I think. So, for now at least, we'll give her healing. This may be a waste of time, but we have no more rat burgers other than one, really. So, yeah, we have one rat burger. Let's board the spaceship. Anything else? 
No. Okay, we're going to go to Neo Tokyo. You like? Oh, space battle. Let's get some points. Yoink. Thank goodness, enemy spaceships are so much worse right now. At dealing damage. They have much better health. End turn. Okay, and the battery is popping up to the right. It looks like we dodged this guy. Hm. Well, goodbye guy. How dare you attack us above a planet filled with gangsters. I totally didn't see that coming. Okay. Down to Neo Tokyo. Looks like it's loading. There we go. Okay. And if we ever need to heal, we can go to the med bay. Hmm. Any explanation? Sweet! It's instant. Okay. You land on Neo Tokyo's spaceport using the ATV you got from Vestro. The sprawling city of Neo Tokyo covers the entire planet's surface. Home sweet home. I suppose I owe you a reward for all you did. This is a dimensional intensifying cybernetic enhancer. Or a dice, right? Or dice for short. You've all heard of dice, legendary devices that amplify system outputs. They're all that's left of an ancient race known only as the Precursors. Ginormous didn't know how to use it and threatened to destroy it if I didn't help him. I couldn't let him destroy something so precious as a dice. A sciencer could do so much with it, but I suppose it'll do more good in your hands. Aliena gives you the D6 dice. Gotta go now. I'll be in touch. She vanishes right before your eyes. Let's go hook our new techie thingy to the nebula. Hey, you can take some time to explore the streets and alleys of Neo Tokyo, too. Well, that's up to you guys, anyway. You're the adventurers. Sweet. So we do want to install this new dice, though. However, can I change the name of the nebula? <laughs> no. No, I cannot. Oh. And exiting out of settings in the middle of the game is apparently not great for this. Well, dear viewer, thank you for watching. I'm going to figure out this bug, and have a great day.